by half inch the hinges and it clears this by half inch the, the, the little the lock the little I mean, we didn't even have lock. to move it Welcome back to the guest house. If you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that now so we can get it right out of the way. And hit the bell. If you hit the bell, you get notification that we have put out a new video and you get to watch it right away, which would be awesome. I'll probably ask you again at the end of the video, but you know. Anyway, so those of you who have an RV and especially a really small RV, like this one is a 23 foot total from bumper to the front of the hitch. So that means that the house itself is about 19 and a half feet. So very small. Um, we all know that space is at a premium, especially storage space. One of the most important things to do in order to make travel in a tiny trailer, even in a big one, um, as as easy as possible is to try to figure out how to make the most of your storage space. A lot of times uh, RVs come with big blank spaces that you get to figure out what you want to do with them. So big closets that maybe don't have shelves or um, just big under bed storage spaces that don't have any real organization to them. One of the things that I'm going to show you today is what we did to solve the problem of our under bed storage. We have twin beds and under the twin beds are just flip down doors. They just flip right down and some of them came with black bins. I'll show those to you here. And uh, basically the idea was you flip down the storage, you pull out the bin and you can put stuff in it, slide the bin back in, close the storage door. What that meant for me and for my taller husband <laughs> was that we had to basically get down on the floor. So this is an example of the black bins I was talking about. So you can see there's really nothing uh, special about it. It's really just a, it's a very hard, solid black bin. These bins were not tossing. They, they do have a use. I have two that are narrower that I put in the front um, storage compartment just behind the propane tanks and they hold all the miscellaneous stuff for towing and um, leveling and things like that because it's fairly easy to get to once we get to campsite. This particular bin we're going to use as a shoe wash. Uh, we're going to a lot of beachy um, destinations this summer and uh, it helps to be able to sort of rinse off your feet, rinse off your shoes before you bring any of that inside the trailer. It's as you know, any of you that are the cleaners of the trailer, it's way easier to clean if you're not tracking everything in. Yes. Pretty cool. S sliding it back <laughs> in. Oh my God. Closing the door. Talk about a glove fit. Bam. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty custom, great. Custom. That is a custom fit job. Now, this solves a problem for us. Or for you. Well, yeah, especially for me because I'm the one who's always getting stuff out of these bins. Yes. So now. Well, I'm... yeah, right. We're always doing this. Have to look down in here to get the stuff. And now we just pull it out. Mm hmm It's going to be so nice. I'm pretty sure I don't even have to bend down. Like, I just you have, don't have to. to now. No. <laughs> No, absolutely not. I'm so excited. All so, right, let's put the other one in. Let's do the other one now. We're going to do this one now. So what did we learn from the first one, though? It was... Too close for comfort? Absolutely. It was a squeeze. So it was, a, <laughs> it was, it was an effort getting it in. Oh, my God. And then you will, you'll see. We'll show you how tight of a fit it is with this when we do this one. Yeah. All right, so here's the main bracket. Pretty straightforward. It slides ever so. Oh, that's tight. You know it's tight if you have to use a hammer. Yeah. Hammer those little guys all the way down to the Ooh. bottom. Good thing about this is that once it's in there, it's in there. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. Da -da -da. And it just clears. It's amazing. Just, it just clears Because I measured precisely. I'd like to say you really lucked out. 
okay, so maybe you're gonna look at it that way, but I'm gonna look at it as it was my skill. And the, all right, so let me drill the two holes in Okay. We can put this back together. Fantastic. Oh, I just can't believe how tight this is. <laughs> yeah, see, we wouldn't have been able to, we wouldn't have been able to do any of this if we didn't take this top off. There's no way there's no way we could have done this. Right. <clears throat> but so. the top, there's a uh, half dozen screws. This comes off, gives you total access to everything to work. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. All right, so there you go. All right. Look at that. That's pretty no more bending great. bending over and getting on your knees. Here I am on the floor of the trailer. This is how I used to have to get stuff out from under the beds on this side. I don't have to do this anymore, but I'll show you why we made the change that we did. When I want to try to get stuff out of this bin, I would get down on the floor. I would look in there. I'd pull out the black bin and then I could see, you know, I'd have the black bin sitting here. So I could see what's in it. You can see how inconvenient that is. But even better, let me show you how easy it is to open this up and access the storage compartment now without getting down on the floor. Here we go. I also put these little collapsible bins in there. Yeah. Need them, don't need them. I like to use those to separate stuff. One of our next challenges was the second closet. So we have two closets at the end of the beds and I'll show those to you. One closet is longer and it's got a top compartment and a bottom compartment. In the top, I put the coffee maker in a bin and all the coffee and the tea kettle and some other stuff. In the bottom, we have the extra cushion for the dinette that helps to make it into a bed. And I have this enormous wood cutting board that I don't use as a cutting board, but I put on top of the glass stove top when I wanna use that as extra counter space. I also put things like access gear. So um, any, any kind of excess gear, but we also use that as a hanging space. So all the hanging clothes. So the second closet is shorter. It only comes down to about my hip um, and it's narrow. So I needed something to be able to organize the space in there, give me a sort of more <laughs> vertical uh, organization uh, because we're not using it to hang anything. And we already have a closet to hang stuff and we certainly when we're out camping we don't need two closets to hang things. This is our short closet. It's the foot of my side, my twin bed, and previously this was just a big blank space with a hanging rod and so what I did was I got a little drawer unit. So this is really intended for a very narrow bathroom cabinet, you know, where the plumbing is on one side and you've got a little space and you need to organize it. Um, these drawers are great. They, um, they, they'll come out so you can use them as storage bins. Um, and then they just slide right back in there. I did not secure this at all. I put down some rubber shelf liner and then I just took a piece of board about a half an inch board and I created a like I filled the gap basically so it won't slide that direction and it won't slide that direction when we're traveling to prevent the drawers from sliding out and hitting this closet door I have one of these fun bungees with hooks on it and I just slide one underneath the bottom put one on the top and now the drawers won't slide out and if you have storage ideas let us know put them in the comments below and then everybody gets to know what your great ideas are how about visit us on our new facebook group our facebook group is east coast streamers i'll put a link to that below also how about follow us on instagram that would be fun and then maybe we can see what you've got going on there too um if you like this video i know you did 
give us a thumbs up because that would be great. How about subscribe, hit the bell, and then yeah, you get to see our next video right away and that would be fun. And as always, thanks for being our guest and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.